What's up, guys? My name's Ariana. And I'm Maple. And today we are watching The Legend of Korra, Season 3, Episode 5. He's in the spirit world. He's in the spirit world. I knew it. He's in the spirit I world. I knew it. The, the metal, metal clan. <laughs> Naga. Naga goes wild sometimes. Mm -hmm. Naga's got the zoomies. Naga's got the zoomies. While you're playing fetch, four of the most dangerous criminals in the world are hunting you down. We should get moving. Relax. We just got here. Besides, no one knows where I am right now except us. I think she wants you to throw it for her. <laughs> I'll pass. Thanks. We just got a call on the radio about another airbender. Where are they? A city called Zaofu, the home of the Metal Clan. You know the place? Uh, never been, but I don't want you going there. Mm -hmm. I'd rest a lot easier if you were back safe in Republic City. Sorry, but if there's an airbender in Zaofu, then that's where we're going next. Oh, Naga just makes me think of, I totally forgot about like Clifford the Big Red Dog. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. That was rude. What was up, Bayfong? I know, Bayfong, I will not forgive you for that. That was rude. Wow, wow, wow! An entire city made of metal! Whoa! You should be right at home, What the heck? Hmm. Bayfong's got a gear up her butt. Yeah, she do. Big old metal gear. Aren't you coming? What's there to see? It's metal. Big whoop, just find the airbender and let's get moving. And don't Why is everything chrome? I don't need to explain myself to you. Just do what I say. I'm Something is very touchy it. here. Cranky pants. Absolutely. Avatar Korra, it is an honor to meet you. My name is Ai Wei. Thanks for having us. Is this everyone? Yep, just us. Can I meet the new airbender? Of course. Right this way. And this is the Air Acolyte Dining Hall where everyone eats. And this is Dom. He's a new airbender, too. Like you, Dad. Well, it's so nice to meet you. He was in the shop, right? Hello? I think... My so. name is Yoru. I heard this was a place to come if you're a new airbender. You got that right, stranger. Well, he looks scary. Ago, I woke up and suddenly I could do this. Mom! I tell ya! I got another one! He... I don't know. Is he good or bad? Guys. Did, did he look like the other guy? Like, I felt like, like the other guy had an shaved? eyebrow thing and he just shaved his head. Did he just shave his head? Yeah, it feels, it feels wrong. That statue honors the first metal bender. Path Bayfong, who expanded the possibilities wow. of what benders were capable of. Everyone is encouraged to reach his or her highest potential. Does Toph live here? Like... Are we going to get to meet her? I'm afraid not. She used to visit from time to time, but years ago she left to wander the world in search of enlightenment. No one has seen her since. Bayfong like failed like out of a... school or something. Yeah, here. there's some sort of family thing. Is this some kind of combat training? Not exactly. They are rehearsing for a dance premiere. It's next really month. pretty. Wow. Can we do That's that? That's it for today, everyone. Allow me to introduce the matriarch of the Metal Clan. That looks Su like Yin. Please call me Sue. Great to finally meet you. Oh, it sister. looks like her. Yeah. Oh, this must be Mako Bolin and Asami. You've done your research. So you're a dancer. Dancer, leader, wife, mother. Son. Mother? So she's like the... She's like the... Cora, why did you lie when Ai Wei asked if there was anyone else with you? What? I, I didn't. I mean, how did you know I was lying? I am a truth seer. When people lie, their heart rate and breathing increase. I can sense the most subtle of changes. We came with Damn. Republic City's chief of police. She didn't want anyone to know she was here. Lynn's here? I would love to say hello. Wait, you two know each other? You're joking, right? She's a more accelerated Lynn sister. Lynn told you about me. No, why would she? I'm Lynn's sister. I saw it, I saw it in the face, like with the gray hair oh, and the bright green eyes. Yeah. Kind of... I don't know why you were so against coming here. Why didn't you ever tell me you had a sister? Half sister. Half Same sister. Same mom, different dads. So what? And after 30 years, the least you could do is say hello. I have nothing to say to you. They why? Why do they have fathers? beef? You two haven't spoken in 30 years? How that is crazy. Ask her. Oh, don't put that on me. You're the one who tore our family apart. And you've done a bang-up job keeping it that way. Look, we can stand here arguing about the past all day, but that's not the reason the Avatar came here. My daughter is thrilled to meet you. Lynn, your niece is the new airbender. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, terrific. 
<laughs> She's so mad. Those are my yeah. two youngest, Wei and Wing. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Dang. Oh, nice power, Wei. Mm -hmm. ah, Wing goes down. So will Korra be able to metal bend? Huon, I want you to meet the Avatar and her friends, and your Aunt Lin. Nice to meet you. Hey. Oh. <laughs> wow, He's sulky. That's really nice. Banana? It's not a banana. Oh my god. It was inspired by harmonic convergence. It represents the dawning of a new age. Tortured oh, artist. Oh yeah. Tortured. No, I totally see that. I can, well, let me stand here. Yes, I can see that. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Banana. I mean, that's a banana, right? Opal. Wow, Avatar Korra, I can't believe you're really here. You are so amazing. It's great to meet you, Opal. Opal, that's a beautiful name. Thanks. I knew that was gonna happen. Opal, but uh, you already knew that. Great, we found the airbender. Let's take her back to the airship and get out of here. And the woman apparently trying to abduct you is your aunt. <laughs> really? I've always wanted to meet you. My mom has told me so many stories about you. I'm sure she has. So I've set all of you up in the guest houses while Cora trains Opal. Oh, I'm sorry, but I was hoping she could train with the rest of the airbenders at the Northern Temple. That sounds amazing. Nonsense. This is where Opal's home and family are. You can train her here. I guess I could help her get started. Absolutely not. We're leaving. She's just a little worried because there are a bunch of crazy criminals after me. If you're concerned about security, don't be. This is the safest city in the world. I don't like how she's like, you're going to stay here. Hi, society. Nice. Which they seem to do that. The oh, the Earthbenders mm -hmm. tough kind of had the same thing where her parents like wouldn't okay. let her Let's see what you got. Leave. I'm not very good. Yeah, that's okay. I've never been a teacher before, so we're in the same boat. You want to keep your elbows in, torso straight, feet just skimming the ground. Why don't you try it with me? Wow, you're a natural. You really think so? Oh god. You call yourself an airbender? Oh god. It's graceful. Be the leaf. But I don't know what that means. It's gotta be. Yeah. Aggressive, but you mean it. Now that man's a leaf. A student is only as good as his master. I just got a message from Tenzin. He's with a whole group of other airbenders at the Northern Temple, and he wants all of you to join them. We leave first thing in the morning. And the Avatar is with them? No, apparently she had to split off from Tenzin. That's unfortunate. I was really looking forward to meeting her. Yeah. Yeah. Tonight, for your dining wow. pleasure. I present a seared wild Kiyoshi elephant koi paired with a ginger infused pea tendril and hibiscus root salad. <laughs> Stunning. I have to admit, I was pretty skeptical when he said pea tendril, <laughs> but this is delicious. <laughs> I know, right? I don't think I've ever had a bad meal in my life. Oh, I had plenty when Mako and I were living on the streets. I mean, you'd be surprised how bad food from a dumpster can be. I'm sorry, I didn't know. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. That's all in the past. Things are great now. I got to be a pro bender, fought against a dangerous revolution, became a mover star, and now I'm helping the Avatar rebuild a whole nation. Wow, your life sounds so exciting. How's your search for the new airbenders going? She's so going to leave with them for Berlin. We had to rescue a whole group of them from the Earth Queen. Oh, well, it's cute because they're both like she thinks she can just Earthbenders. Do she wants. Sounds familiar. What? Nothing. I mean, the idea of even having a queen is so outdated. Don't you agree, Cora? I, I haven't really thought about it too much. Well, you should start. The world is evolving and the Earth Queen can evolve with it. Step aside. Hey, everyone. My little sister is an expert on world affairs now. You want to talk about what's really bugging you? Because I'm right here. Talk about it, talk Damn. about it, talk about it, talk about it. I want to know why she's so mad. Sorry we're late, everyone. <gasps> Varric! What are you doing here? Great question, Asami. I mean... What are any of us doing here? <laughs> Food for thought. Anywho, how's our company doing? You mean my company? Future Industries reverted back to me after you plotted to abduct the president. Allegedly plotted to abduct the president. Never convicted. Uh, that's because you escaped prison. No, the universe decided to set me free. So, I looked up my old friend Su Yin here, pitched her a few ideas, and bam! We're in business together! I've seen the future! 
And the future is magnets. I'm working on a high-speed rail that'll revolutionize transportation and shipping as we know it. But that's not all. I'm all right enough. I'm trying to keep the Avatar safe and you're harboring a criminal? Sure, Varric's made a few mistakes in his past, but that doesn't mean he should pay for it the rest of his life. My chef was a pirate, but now he's a culinary master. People change. You haven't. Lynn! Also, just because you're a metal no, bender does not mean you need to sit on a fully metal there. chair. I think she's really into That sounds awful. Yeah, you know, she's <laughs> sweet and, and pretty and super nice. <sighs> what you took from that? Too she's yeah. not my type. <gasps> she's not your type? Your type is dumb mover star or psycho ice princess. Yeah. Oh, you know. He spikes his eyebrows. Really Maybe you're right, bro. Maybe opal is bowlin material. Thanks. Bowlin material? You're not opal material, my guy. Thank you for being so welcoming. And I'm sorry for how Lynn's been acting. Can I ask, what happened with you two? We didn't have a normal childhood. Neither of us knew our fathers, and Toph was always busy being chief of police. Because Mom grew up in such a strict house, she gave us all the freedom in the world, hoping we'd figure out our own paths. That sounds like a good thing. And in a way, it was. But we both ended up fighting for Mom's attention. Lynn followed in her footsteps and became a cop. I was more of a rebel. Mom wasn't too happy with how either of us turned out. When I was 16, I left home to explore the world. I sailed the seas on a pirate ship, joined a traveling circus for a while, and lived in a sandbender commune in the desert. I finally realized what I was looking for was a family. So I bought this plot of land, found a brilliant architect who later became my husband, and created a place I could truly call home. It sounds like you've created the perfect life here. Almost. I've always wanted Lynn to be a part of it, but I gave up hope long ago of her ever coming around. Hey, little lady. Wow, you're really blowing me away with your... <laughs> He's so freaking lame. Why are you acting weird? Why are you acting weird? I don't like how you're talking to me. Look, I'm sorry. I just get really self-conscious when I know a girl likes me and I, I end up acting stupid. Who said I liked you? Oh no, but I thought Mako said... Just kidding. But do me a favor uh, uh. and stop trying. Well, don't stop trying. Just stop trying so much. Just be yourself. Oh, be myself. Yeah, I guess I could give that a shot. Cora, <clears throat> go away. Oh, hey, Cora. <laughs> Jesus. Can I you away from Bolin for a minute? I need your help with something. Well, it's you better like nighttime, Cora. Go away. I'm rooting for Bolin to finally meet somebody like normal. He seems like the only one that like really could like have like a cute relationship. The rest of them are bananas. Like this guy is bananas. Oh, your earthly tether. Enter the void. Empty. It is him. It has to be. What the voice. You? No one's allowed in Daddy's study except Daddy. I'm sorry. I couldn't sleep. What were you reading? A poem by Gu Lahima, the wisest airbender who ever lived. Iki. You should be in bed. Come on. Night. Good night. You seem to know a lot about airbender history for someone who just got airbending. I've always admired the culture. And you move through those gates like a natural. Where did you say you were from? A small village up north. You've probably never heard of it. Wait. Zahir. Mm-hmm. Ah. I need some help! Oh, she's got squid arms, too. Oh, my God! Go off. Of course she's B.A. She's the daughter of Katara. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you got hit again. Oh. Sorry I won't be joining you at the Northern Air Temple. I'm afraid I have other plans. Dang. Who is it? Hey, it's me. I brought someone who wants to talk to you. You want to talk? Then talk. I'm sorry oh. this year has been so hard for you. When you showed up, I was so excited to get to know you. I'd heard so many great things about you from Mom and Grandma Toph. I guess I was kind of sad that you didn't want to get to know me. I know my family can be a little crazy and overwhelming sometimes, but I would love it so much if you would be a part of it. She's precious. Get out. Oh. Sorry, did I say something wrong? Get out. Wow. 
What's your problem? Don't get mad at Opal. I asked her to talk to you because I thought it would help you snap out of whatever funk you're in. Why don't you focus on fixing the world and stop trying yeah, to fix so my family? Yeah, that's so sad. Ooh. Mm. Seems right. You're never going to change. You're always going to be a bitter, lonely woman. Oh. <gasps> I feel like you just put words in her mouth, though. Dang. Damn. Obviously, their sass runs deep. Damn. Cora, Cora did not have to say all that. Yeah, Cora. She did not have to come come at her like Cora that. Cora kind of stays going a little too hard in the paint with the emotional reactions. I know for somebody who's so emotional, like she, like she really just goes for the jugular from the dome, like off the top, off the top. Like, like she, like that was like in the heat of the moment, and she was just like, "You're just gonna be a bitter, a bitter old woman, lonely forever. woman, lonely. I think." bitter old woman yeah like i don't feel like she needed to go yeah. that hard also varick popping back up though oh my god he's remember the last time we saw him and he was jumping out with her like a, oh like a koala bear, a koala bear. <laughs> has, yes, a backpack. has a backpack and she was like his her his like wings like yeah she was like the back like what i don't know they're so funny so that was right. crazy also though is that here I knew it. He just shaved his head. Why does he know so much? I know. He knows, he knows too a lot. Much. Like, he knows, like, was he, like, supposed to be an airbender and then he didn't have any powers? So he was like, I'm going to take over this life and forget the avatars, but now I have power. I, I just, ooh, I, I'm excited about his backstory. Because yeah, I mean, like, like why are they, like... how did they all end up so bad, but yet so talented in what they do? Yeah. Did they just start off as a gang of criminals? That doesn't make sense. Yeah. Something happened. I know. All right, guys. Well, we're going to jump into episode six and we'll catch you there. See ya. Bye.